I'm loving having Ted Lasso back in my life while also being kind of heartbroken about the fact that it is the final season. And I'm kind of wondering how, when it feels like we have so many rich characters, so many different avenues the storyline can go, I know that the creators have spoken about potentially doing a spin-off series and whatnot, and that'd be something that'd be quite interesting seeing. But I'm kind of wondering, with only... I think we're now three episodes deep into the last season and I think there's 12 episodes in total. I'm wondering how they're going to finish it off, basically. And what I decided to do was I decided to look at the show that paved the way, that walked so Ted Lasso could run. I'm, of course, talking about what else could I be talking about? Uh, Dream Team, Sky One's old Premier League football uh, drama that was originally conceived as a soap opera but then switched to and like aired like twice a week every week for uh, like almost every week in football season and then it later switched on to like a one hour TV primetime Sunday night drama so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if there's any storyline beats left on the table from Dream Team obviously a similar style drama so how can Ted Lasso learn from Dream Team and is there anything we can take from some of the more uh, extraordinary and memorable storylines in Dream Team that will help us predict how Ted Lasso is going to end here are some of my thoughts first off a plane crash. Dream Team showed us that the drama was in a different league when they killed off half the cast in a plane crash as they flew back from a UEFA Cup tie. Now, that's not what I want to see. I don't want all of our favourite characters to die. However, they did have a perfect chance to do something similar when Ted put his really annoying child on a plane at the start of the season. And it, that's what got me thinking. I'm like, oh my God, they're going to dream team the kid. And I'm going to be honest, okay? Like I said, that's an annoying child. I would be perfectly okay. And there is still time. Like he can still fly back and forth. There's, there can be co-parenting. There's no reason he only has to see his dad in the summer. There is still time for this to happen. Ted is clearly torn on why he's still in the UK when we can see there's no life for him anymore in the US apart from having the kid. This would remove any doubt and tell him that his future lies in coaching Richmond, uh, which alongside never having to see that kid act again, is a double win. It's what the people want. So let's, uh, I, I'm putting one vote for playing crash anyway. Attempted assassinations. Sam Obasanya's Will They Won't They Affair with Rebecca is a good takeoff. Luisa Moore Rodriguez and Linda Block's illicit love affair, who uh, Linda Block, similar to Rebecca, went on to inherit her club, uh, Harchester, from her evil ex-husband. Those similarities could raise an alarm bells for some people, though, because that same jilted ex of Linda Block's, Jerry Block, then went on to attempt to assassinate Rodriguez in Wembley after Harchester achieved FA Cup glory. Could we see Sam in the crosshairs of a sniper before the end of this series? If Dream Team is, is anything to go by, I think that's not only possible, I think it's quite likely. Dressing room hostage scenarios. This week, uh, in the most recent episode of Ted Lasso, we saw Zorro, the goalkeeper, rename himself Van Damme at Zava's behest. Uh, and that is perhaps a start onto this potential storyline. But there's still a good way to go. If he is, if he himself is to top Harchester gambling addict goalkeeper, Jamie Parker, uh, who once took the entire dressing room hostage, I think it was to pay off a debt, a gambling debt that he had, but I'm not fully sure um, and I don't even think to be honest the writers were uh, unfortunately Jamie was killed off by a SWAT team at the end of that episode uh, I also like again I don't understand why any of that happened but also similarly I don't really understand why Zorro's name is now Van Damme so again there's a lot of confusing behaviour here could it all lead in a dressing room hostage scenario I think it quite well could evil managers so in the style of Harchester's Don Parker Ted's personal anxieties what if they took a tragic turn what if counselling didn't work and he follows the dream team play Supremo's playbook repeatedly match fixing getting away fans to chant racial abuse at his team and of course the most memorable uh, and, and horrific and tragic Don Barker crime, uh, killing a star player. If it goes that way, and if, uh, in fact, Ted Lasso, this beacon of positivity in our lives, takes a massive left turn and ends in a murder spree, then 
Jamie Tart, unfortunately, is definitely the Ted Lasso equivalent of Carl Fletcher, uh, the dream team heart throb striker. And and like Carl Fletcher, he's probably going to end up getting impaled, which is what uh, Don Barker did in Dream Team. Last, if they want to go for maybe a bit of a happier ending, I still think they should keep the Ted Lasso goes insane on a murdering spree uh, part. But if they want to end it happily, in spite of all that, fans win the club in a raffle. And who would begrudge super fans, Jeremy, Paul and Baz, who are such good fans, they never actually go to the stadium, they just watch games in the pub. Um, if they won the club in a raffle, like happened in Dream Team, what if all of the above has happened, okay? So we have our dressing room hostage scenario, we have Ted's kid dying in a plane crash, we have an attempted assassination on Sam Bassania, and what if, uh, and then of course, Ted's murderous rampage, and Rebecca has just had enough at this stage, uh, she's seen her lover assassinated on the Wembley pitch and her happy-go-lucky manager go on that rampage impaling her best friend's ex and decides I've had enough of this shit she decides to raffle off the club and her favourite super fans win it the only issue with it is they'd actually have to go to the stadium to watch games now instead of the pub which again might just put the kibosh on everything because for some reason despite at one stage last season uh, them revealing that it's their dream to play in the stadium they're just like yeah but I'm not going to go watch the match there like I'll have my spot here in the pub um, but yeah there you go Ted Lasso that's how it's going to end I'm sorry for the spoilers guys but uh, I think I've cracked it I think I've figured it all out and I think everything I've said there fits well within the tone and uh, like I said we all just want a rerun of Dream Team and I think by the end of this we'll be like oh that's why that's what Jason Sudeikis did he's just a really big Dream Team on Sky 1 fan somehow <laughs>